Hi everyone, my name is Adam Carmi and I'm a co-founder and the VP of R&D of uh, AppliTools. Uh, in this video, I'm going to give you a quick tour of AppliTools Eyes. AppliTools Eyes allows you to automatically validate all the visual aspects of your application. It allows you to test for that each UI element uh, in your application appears in the right uh, location and size uh, the right font and color, that it does not overlap any other UI element, that, that no other UI element hides it. Uh, most importantly, it allows you to create and maintain uh, automated visual tests for the full variety of web browsers, operating systems, devices and screen resolutions uh, where your application is expected to run. Um, let's look at uh, an AppliTools eye test that I ran on my own Gmail account. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, the test consists of four visual validation points, three of which are marked red, indicating that differences were found between the baseline and the actual screenshot that were obtained from the application. We are currently viewing a side-by-side -side view of the second validation point. On the left-hand side, you can see the expected image, and on the right-hand side, the actual one. The differences between the images are highlighted in pink. You can also click the flashlight button to further highlight them and make sure you don't miss small differences that are difficult to detect. Let's take a closer look at the differences that, we, that were found. We'll switch to full screen view, remove the pink highlights, zoom in a bit, and uh, toggle between the baseline and actual images. You can see that the Google logo has moved, that the color of the search button changed from blue to green, and that we have a typo in the More button. Now, there are three important things to notice so far. First of all, AppliTool's eyes automatically detects visual differences that until today could only be effectively detected by a human tester, only that it, it is done automatically faster and more accurately. Second, uh, AppliTools validates the entire windows of your application in each validation point. Of course, unless you're instructed to uh, validate specific uh, window regions. Each such valida validation point uh, saves hundreds of uh, lines of equivalent uh, validation code that you would have to write in your tests. The third point is that AppliTools eyes can validate any functionality of the application under test uh, which output is visible in the UI. For example, in this test, uh, AppliTools eyes can verify uh, that the emails query return the proper results and that the sorting order of the emails list uh, was correct. Many applications consist of dynamic data that changes between test runs. In Gmail, for example, the Google ad may be different on each run and so would be uh, the list of online contacts. With AppliTools eyes, it is easy to ignore such differences by placing ignore regions directly on the baseline or the actual image. Similarly, it is also possible to mark floating regions in the image and specify the areas in which uh, they are allowed to appear. It is also possible to perform optical character recognition to validate dynamic textual output appearing in actual images. By default, Eyes uses a strict matching algorithm to compare the actual and expected images. This comparison mode can detect tiny differences in huge application windows such as a plus symbol changing to a minus or a comma changing to a dot. On the other hand, the algorithm ignores any changes that are not visible to the human eye, such as a table column being rendered one pixel wider um, than as was captured in the baseline's image. In addition to strict matching, it is possible to change the comparison mode to ignore color changes or to only compare the layout of the application window. For example, if we change the match level to layout, you can see that the change in the search button color or uh, the typo in the more button are no longer highlighted as differences but the dislocation of the Google logo is. Now for the purpose of the demo, let's assume that the current differences are not bugs, but are valid changes of the application. In order to update the baseline, all you need to do is click the Accept 
changes button. Whenever we accept the changes in a given test step, Applitool's eyes analyzes all other steps that contain differences and automatically accepts them if they contain the exact same changes. In our example, you can see that all the three validation points are marked gray, which implies that the new actual images in all of them were accepted. This type of automatic maintenance drastically reduces the amount of effort required to maintain visual tests and is the key to enable large-scale large visual test automation. Another form of automatic maintenance is automatic propagation of region changes. For example, if we add an ignore region in the first step, you can see that it is automatically added to the second step as well but it wasn't added to the third step where the UI element to be ignored does not exist. Region changes automatically propagate to test executed in different web browsers, devices, and screen resolution, such that the proper position and size of the regions are automatically adjusted to the shape and size of the application in those execution environments. Thank you for listening. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact us through the link below.